Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about interfacing two Arduino boards using UART and decoding the communication protocol. Here is the learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to interface two Arduino boards via UART and decode the protocol using logic analyzer. And at the same time, we are also going to uh, have a look at how data can be spoofed through uh, USB logic analyzer and physical hardware connections. Remember, there might be a slight change in the actual interfacing diagram that you are able to see on the screen now. Okay, so as you can see uh, in the practical setup, we have two Arduino boards, the left one and the right one. So I'm going to set up uh, one of these boards like the left side uh, board as a transmitter and the right side board as a receiver. And let's try to spoof the data again by using this USB eight channel logic analyzer and again this time like what we did in our previous video uh, that we tried to spoof the data coming out of uh, one wire protocol while interfacing an Arduino board with a DHT11 sensor similarly uh, here we can try to spoof the data that is being uh, captured between a UART communication wires of a given controller like this so let's try uh, to interface this board through one of these jumper cables. So here, as you can see, uh, the last two terminals are zero and one. Terminal number zero or the digital pin number zero of this Arduino board is RX. So I'm going to connect the yellow wire to that one and the transmitter wire is pin number one which is my wire black so the transmitter of rx goes to the receiver of transmitter and the receiver of the receiving end goes to the transmitter pin of the transmission side so this is how we have all these boards available with proper connection setup so rx and tx are crossed now the moment uh, we try to program these two microcontrollers in such a way that uh, one microcontroller transmits and the other microcontroller always remains in the receiver mode or something like a slave so what I've done currently is I have removed the RXTX connections because those are the pins through which the IC is actually programmed. So you have to be pretty much sure that there is no connection made between the RX and TX terminals or the RX and TX terminal of a controller and any sort of other sensor. So now if I hit on the upload button, let's have a check like whether that gets programmed easily or not okay so as you can see this board is successfully programmed here is the status of the program now i'm going to disconnect this board and connect back the transmitter side and let's go back to tools and select the right com port that is COM7 that should not show up multiple ports for the same COM like this but maybe there is some sort of error or something is stuck let's ignore that error but I suppose it should be getting uploaded without any errors yes as you can see here there is a status again for the transmitter sideboard it is successfully uploaded so we are going to connect the receiver side again and let me make these connections quickly rx goes to dx and this board's rx goes to the other board's dx so i'm not interested in the transmitter side yet I'm going to make sure that I'm connected to the transmitter side. So transmitter side should be printing hello world or simply hello 
message on the serial monitor so currently com number seven com port seven is selected so let's have a look at what is getting displayed on the serial monitor so the previous window was open that was an issue as you can see this is the transmitter side and it is com7 now just to make sure that this hello that is being sent by the transmitter board is being read by the receiving end you need to first of all close this window and select com8 and then reopen the serial window yes this is getting successfully printed but how do i say that it is successful i would say that this is successful just because uh, i'm able to see h e l l o okay these are the words and maybe some other extra characters maybe a next line or something else uh, so i'm assuming that these are the ascii values that are being printed these are the ascii values that are being printed so let's have a look at uh, the logic analyzer now as you can see down here i'm trying to connect the logic analyzer's ground that is the last pin according to the pin out diagram of this logic analyzer and i'm connecting it to ground So the ground is connected to the logic analyzer. Now I need to also make sure that the ground of the first board and the ground of the second board should be connected together. So whenever you interface in sensors, it is a very important aspect to keep in mind one thing that is all the ground planes should be connected together so as to get a proper reading. So I'm already aware like since both the USB ports of both the boards are currently connected to the same machine through which I am currently programming these things. They are already grounded, but just to be on a safer side, I am connecting one more terminal, a black terminal. To the grounds of both the boards. So I suppose uh, it is visible. This is the common ground. Though it is not required as long as these two USB connections are connected to the same machine, you can check uh, this through a continuity test if you have a multimeter. Now, this is the channel number one, which is uh, usually connected to uh, the first pin of my logic analyzer. Now, I'm going to go back to the logic analyzer software now i have opened the logic analyzer software and here we need to make some small changes like this was channel zero to which we connected uh, wire one so rather than making a change here i would like to make a change over here where i'm going to maximize this a little bit and minimize all the rest of the things so currently we are supposed to focus on the second line here i'll be adding a sync serial on channel number one that too with a baud rate of 9600 and rest of the things like 8 and 1 would be left as it is everything would be default now let's uh, take a sample for 10 seconds. I have started the simulation and I'm parallelly connecting this to I think I missed it. Let me click on the start simulation button again. Before that, let me turn on the logic analyzer. It should auto detect those eight channels okay as you can see now 
here all the eight channels are detected right starting from channel 0 to channel 7 so channel number one is the one which we are supposed to focus I'm going to first of all tap on this and then I'm going to click start now let's have a look like what data is being printed okay uh, there is some error no worries as long as we're able to recapture it probably i guess that uh, at least two to three hello messages have been sent in this 10 seconds span okay now if we have a look at we are done with our camera now we can switch it off and focus on this part now focus on channel number one and on the right side here on the bottom right corner you are able to see that there are a couple of commands like initially there is a reset signal then we have a data zero okay so this is coming from channel number one so let's hide it let's find the data that we are trying to let's check this as a decimal on hex values we need to iterate this through a various options okay let me remove this analyzer uh, and let us go for one more shot let me record it one more time so after recording uh, I don't see any signals on the logic analyzer as of now but let us just scan through a moment okay so let me let me connect my logic analyzer once again and check for any data that can be captured okay I have made the connections let me recapture the signals okay as you can see here uh, the status is shown like digital samples are collected okay so we got some data now let us identify what data is actually captured as you can see this is how the serial communication happens if you open it if you expand this data focus on just pay attention to what is written under these blue highlighted tags you are able to see that here uh, just below my cursor 72 101 108 108 one, 13 and 10 is written this is exactly what the data we have received on our serial port on the receiving side that is on com number 8 so if you want to analyze like what are the decoded protocols this is exactly what is collected on our serial port now if I try to go for hex data or the decimal or the binary value or even the global value here this is much much clear if you select a global decoding protocol see this is nothing but h okay so this is how the entire h value is sent 
it occupies 0.415 milliseconds of uh, a low signal and then we have a 0.105 milliseconds of high signal then a 0.21 milliseconds low signal so this entire dotted period corresponds to an ascii value of something like 72 which we have just now seen so that is nothing but a capital h so followed by which we have the letters e l l o and then we were wondering about why two extra characters we got like i think uh, 13 and 10 those are nothing but those are slash r and slash and the line break and some extra additional character for the sake of proper communication between two microcontrollers this is how we can decode entire urt protocol by using a usb logic analyzer here are the references used for this video thank you